Tonight. Oh, hello! Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. It's games night tonight, so I'm looking for the perfect game. Aha! Pick one. Hello! <gasps> Jen, have you picked one yet? Yes. Can you guess what game it is? I'll give you a clue. It's got lots of ups and downs. Ups and downs? <gasps> is it a trampoline? No, it's a board game with counters and dice. Here's another clue. If you're lucky, you climb up ladders. Hmm, ladders. <gasps> Wait a minute. This isn't you trying to get me to wash the windows again, is it? No, but they do need cleaning, so add that to your chores list. OK, here's your last clue. You have to watch out for snakes. <gasps> snakes? Eek, where? Don't worry, Small. The snakes are just in the game. See? Snakes and ladders. Let's get it out and have a play. Ooh, the board. You can be the yellow counter and I'll be the red one. Snakes and ladders. I'm really good at this game. If you land on a ladder, you can climb up the board. And if you land on a snake, you slide back down again. <laughs> Let's roll the dice. A dice is a little cube with dots on it. So, if you roll and get two dots, you take two steps. Uh-oh, I can't find the dice. Oh, no dice. That means we can't move the counters. And we can't play. <coughs> Quick, Small, we've got a customer. We'll have to find the dice later. <laughs> no problem. I'm off with a whiz to see who it is. Who's in our cafe today, Small? Give us a clue. See if you can guess too. Oh, it's an animal that lives in water, has a big green tail and big snappy teeth. Snap, snap. Snap, snap. Do you know who it is? Is it a crocodile? Hello. Yes, it's our friend Kamar the crocodile. He must be very hungry. But what can we cook for him? I don't know, but we'll have to make it snappy. Get it? Snappy. <laughs> I think it's time to look in my book. <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. Once there was a crocodile called Kamar, who lived in a wiggly blue stream. Kamar was very friendly and wanted nothing more than to make people laugh. Every day, people would row boats through his stream and he would try and make friends with them. He would put on a big smile and swim over to tell them a joke. But people didn't smile back. Instead, they screamed ah! and rowed away so fast he never got to tell them his joke. Hmm. One day, I was zooming down the stream and I saw Kumar looking lonely. He told me his problem. I know why people are screaming and rowing away, I said. It's because of a silly song they've heard. And I sang it for him. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! So when people see your big teeth and wavy tail, they think you're scary. Kamar didn't want people to think he was scary. So I had one of my brilliant ideas. I swapped my spoon for a guitar. And when the rowers came past, 
I sang them a new song. Row, row, row your boat past the crocodile. Listen to his funny joke and he will make you smile. <laughs> the new song was so catchy, soon every boat was singing it. And people would stop to say hello to their new friend Kamar and listen to one of his hilarious jokes. What's a crocodile's favourite game? Snap! <laughs> <laughs> Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. I'm glad Kamar got to make people smile in the end. But we still don't know what we're going to cook for him. With all those teeth, it will need to be a tasty bite. We need to do some serious thinking. <gasps> oh! <gasps> I know Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There are recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's book. Look at this courgette crocodile. A big, lovely dinner for Kamar's ginormous jaws. Can you read out the ingredients, Small? Coming up, Jen. To make our crocodile, we need some orzo pasta, an onion, garlic, chopped tomatoes, tuna, sweet corn, cheddar cheese, olive oil, a cherry tomato, and black olives for decoration. That's great. We've got the lot. And lastly, we need courgettes. <gasps> we haven't got any courgettes. Don't worry. I can whiz off and get some. Great idea. And I'll get everything ready. Why don't you come along too? Woohoo! She'll see today. Whoa. This is where courgettes grow. This is a big field of courgette plants. But where are the courgettes? There they are. They're growing near to the ground under the big green leaves. They grow from these pretty yellow flowers. This man is picking the courgettes. He gives them a twist and puts them into his yellow bucket. They look scrummy. Here's some more pickers. Pick. Pick. This machine is where the courgettes are boxed up. They're taking them out of their buckets and putting them into boxes. That's a lot of delicious courgettes. These courgettes are perfect. I should head back to the cafe. See you there. Jen? Oh, that was quick. Oh, oh, what are you doing down there? I was looking for our lost dice. I can't find it anywhere. Oh, noodles. I was looking forward to playing snakes and ladders. Me too. I've measured out all the ingredients. Did you find a courgette? Yes, look, one courgette ready to go. Now we have everything we need. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Honey pots and hedgehog rolls, starry breakfast skies, robot cake and power shake, and sunflower surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. She is big cook and she is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes, 
Have you washed your hands? Yes. All clean and ready to cook. While you were away, Small, I set the oven to 180 degrees Celsius or gas mark four. Great. Do you remember the ingredients for courgette crocodile? We need orzo pasta. 100 grams cooked. If you don't have orzo pasta, you can use any small pasta shapes. One small onion. Finely diced. Garlic. One clove, crushed. Chopped tomatoes. One large tin. Sweet corn. A small tin. Tuna. Another small tin. Cheddar cheese. A handful, grated. Oil. Just a splash. And for decoration, a cherry tomato and some black olives. And finally, for our crocodile, we need a courgette. One big one. That's everything we need. Let's get started. I've taken the stalk off the courgette and cut it in half lengthways. Ask your grown-up helper to help you do this. Do we need to scoop out the middle, Jen? Why don't we use my spoon? Thanks, Maul. Let's get scooping. Take one half of your courgette and using your spoon, scoop out the middle, which is full of seeds. We're not going to waste this. We're going to use it in our dish later. We want to get a nice smooth groove all the way down the middle, like this. And let's do the same with the other half. Let's scoop together. Scoop, scoop, scoop. <laughs> Once both halves have been scooped out, flip the courgette over on a board so we can make some snappy tea for the crocodile. I'm using a knife to do this, so this is another job for your grown-up helper. He needs some snappy teeth. Let's snap together. Snap, 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 again. Snap, snap, snap. <laughs> I've cut zigzags to about halfway down on both sides of each courgette. They can be nice and pointy to make a lovely big crocodile smile. Do I have a big crocodile smile, Jen? Dazzling small. Now we need to brush our courgette halves with a bit of oil all over the outside. Don't use too much oil, just enough to give them a fine coating. Then flip them over and do the inside. The oil stops them drying out in the oven. Pop them onto a baking tray. Do they go in the oven now? Yes. We need to bake them for 10 minutes. Remember to ask your grown-up helper to do this bit because the oven is hot, hot, hot. Great! I'll set the timer for 10 minutes. Are the courgettes ready? Yes. They're soft, but still holding their shape and colour. I'll leave them to cool for a bit while I make the stuffing. I've heated some olive oil in the frying pan on a medium heat. Now I'm adding the onion and the garlic and cooking them until they're soft. Remember, this is a hob job. So ask your grown-up helper to do this, as it will be hot, hot, hot. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! <laughs> the onions are soft, so now let's add the chopped tomatoes and the scooped out courgette from earlier. And mix everything together. How's the mixture? It's lovely and bubbly. It's time to add the pasta. and give it a good stir, making sure all the pasta's coated with a lovely tomato sauce. There. I found another great game for games night. Pin the tail on the donkey. But the trouble is, I can't seem to find my tail. Hmm. Oh, small, it's stuck to your bottom. <laughs> huh? Oh, yes, I'm the donkey. <laughs> I better finish our filling. Next, add the tuna, 
sweet corn and cheddar cheese and mix it well. <laughs> Our filling is ready. Let's take it off the heat. Now to make our crocodile. Can you help, Small? We need to make him some eyes. I'll get making. <laughs> Let's put some of the mixture into your dish. Get a lovely, nice, even layer. Then place one courgette half on top and spoon on some more filling inside the groove that we made earlier. There. Next, let's place the other courgette half on top. And there we have our crocodile. <laughs> I've made crocodile eyes using some halves of tomatoes and black olives on top. <laughs> Great, thanks small. Let's stick them on with a blob of cream cheese. And some black olive slices for the nostrils. And to make it even more snaptastic, I've cut out some zigzaggy feet from the leftover courgette. Let's stick them on. Now our crocodile can swim. <laughs> our crocodile is complete. Kamar will love him. One courgette crocodile coming through. There, all done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! kitchen sparkle and gleam. <laughs> my name's Jen and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs. The things that help us do our job. Ingredients we'll put away. Ready for use for another day. Pots and pans will start to smell. If we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile. We'll be finished in a little while. All It's a shame we couldn't find the missing dice, Jen. I know. I really wanted to play snakes and ladders. Kamal the crocodile has finished his food and his dish is empty. And look, Small, he's left us a note. <laughs> what does it say? What does it say? Let's see. It says, Dear Big Cook Jen and Little Cook Small, my courgette crocodile was snaptastic. <laughs> to say thank you, here's a present from my stream. Love. Come on, the crocodile. I wonder what it is. Let's see, shall we? Ooh, it's a bag full of pebbles. <laughs> and they have numbers on them. We can use these instead of a dice. Amazing. Now we don't need dice to play snakes and ladders. We can just pick a pebble from the bag and that's the number we move. I'll go first. Three. <laughs> One, two, three. My turn. Watch out for snakes, Small. Snakes? Oh, where? 